Eyes and shine, it is more world card time. And today I'll be revealing graded cards from Hybrid Grading Approach, HGA. Let's go. Today I will be showing my graded card slabs that return back today from HGA hybrid grading approach. Some people are a little indifferent on it. You know, they're doing pretty well. Some people really love the slabs or they just really hate them and they spit on them and take big shits on them. But I kind of like them. They have to get through their first year wrinkles and iron everything out. I think they can, you know, make it. There's going to have to be very consistent from here on out and work hard, but their slabs are really nice. They're very sturdy. The labels are beautiful. I love the choices I have made on the labels that are complementing the cards that I sent in. So let's see what I have. You're really, really going to love these cards, folks. The first one is Bianca Belair of the WWE. She's a female wrestler. I think she was on SmackDown, maybe on Raw. I don't know which even which one she is on, but this is her rookie year. It is the WWE Tops 2018 NXT, and this is a blue version, and this is autographed, as you can see down here, of course. And then you notice the label. I chose custom label, and they did very well job of um, complementing the card here, the pattern, the artwork here, or whatever that's going on. I don't know if that's the lights causing that or what, but I liked what they did. This one got a 9, which is a mint, or 9.0 mint. They always do subgrades, so subgrades is not an added cost. And, uh, yeah, so. Oh, this is one. This is serial numbered. It is. This one's numbered out of 50, which you see down here below on the bottom right. And she's from Knoxville, Tennessee, home of the Tennessee Volunteers. That's where I went to undergrad college. So I'll show her first. Bianca Belair. That's her rookie year. Another wrestling card, Adam Bay Bay Cole, 9.0 Mint HGA. Now, this one is the uh, 2018 Tops WWE NXT autograph. I think it's also, is it numbered? No, it's, this one is not numbered. And I chose Match Card Neutral, and I think that was pretty nice. The yellows, the whites, the reds wasn't, you know, too loud. I didn't want them to over overdo it. I think I'm going to have a lot of wrestling in this submission. Next one, 9.0 Mint for Damian Priest. This is his first year card. This is autographed as well. 2019 Tops WWE NXT Blue autograph. So the blue cards are numbered out of 50, just like that Bianca Belair. And this one got a nine mint. And then you see the autograph. I didn't even show you the last one. Sorry. But this one received a nine. I think Madam Cole got a 10. Bel Air got a 10. So they put the graded the autographs on the grades on the back of the slab. And these were already autographed cards that were pulled out of packs. So don't worry, folks. I've heard, you know, heard about, you know, them grading fake autographs, but these are real autographs, folks, because they're authenticated by Tops. They were pulled out of packs, autographed. So these aren't fakes. You now own an authentic autograph card. This is mine. This is a real card because Tops told me so. HGA just graded it. They did not authenticate it like Tops did. Next card is CM Punk. This is his. Well, actually, his second year, but this is first year Chrome card with the WWE. It's 2007 Tops Heritage 2 Chrome WWE Refractor number 39. Great card. Um, it's great to see Punk back in AEW wrestling after seven years. And if you look on the back, it'll tell you back here if it, this is a refractor. It says refractor right there. Look, there it is. Oh, this is one of my favorites out of the submission here. Batista, Dave Bautista. We know him from WWE, Guardians of the Galaxy. I think he was in James Bond a few years ago, and he's just recently starred in um, Dune. 
So he's got a lot of stuff going for him after um, wrestling. But this is a 2007 Topps Heritage 2 Chrome as well, WWE. And it also says Turkey Red on this. And this is an X-Fractor. So there's like weird, crazy checkerboard refractor prism look that I really like the way that looks. And I chose custom on this. I don't have any clue what that is, but just a cool pattern to match the refractor. And then you see back here, if you want to know why, how do I know it's uh, an X-Fractor? Because it says so right there on the back of the card, X-Fractor. The next card, another autographed card. Now this is Topps E-Topps. These were, were stated as being uncirculated when I bought them. If you know what the uncirculated means, um, please leave a comment in my video so I can you know, know more about it and the audience can know more about it. This is Tori Wilson, who was a, a diva wrestler with WWE. This is autographed. Here it says Tops E or E Tops. This one got a nine mint. We'll turn around. The autograph got a 10. And then you see a hologram over here, a little hologram sticker, authentication. And this one is numbered 160 out of 867. So they made 867 of these. And then I chose match card neutral. Here's another ETOPS from 2007. This is The Undertaker. This one also received a nine mint. They dinged me on the surface and the centering. Bummer. And this one is numbered out of 999. If you look down here at the bottom, my finger is. I think this is a very small set of these ETOPS. There's only like a handful of them. Now, this is also an ETOPS, but this is for UFC. And this one was made in 2009. Tops, ETOPS, even though this is a WWE wrestler, he also fought with UFC. Brock Lesnar. And they gave me a 9.5 on this one, which is a Jim Mint. And this one is numbered to 999. And I chose custom label for this one. You see the ceiling lights of the gym. Really nice card. Really nice. Uh, these are some, leaving some of my favorites for last. Here's another Batista. Gorgeous like chrome looking card, metal card. You can really see the silver shine. It looks even more beautiful in person. This one received the nine mint again from 2007 WWE tops numbered out of 999. You see right there. Another Batista. Now this one got a nine five Jim mint. Very, 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 very happy. Look at that one. Wow. Apparently these cards are hard to grade. And when I received them, they came, you know, encased with the ETOPS stamp over the casing. I had to break all these cases open in order to get the card out, cut the sticker off the casing in order to get the card to be submitted to get graded to HGA or what other grading company I sent them to. And this one is numbered out of 999. But nice one. And I chose neutral card or you know card neutral sometimes less is more with a label no oh, do you smell what the merle is cooking this is the rock dwayne johnson another 2007 e tops 95 gym mint oh man this is a really nice one these have been really hard to grade i just got one back from psa i spent 150 dollars and it came back a freaking PSA 7. I was so upset. And that was my favorite of all the graded cards. I was like, chose them all. I was like, okay, of all the cards, this is the best looking rocker Batista card. I'm going to pay 150 to get it in. Guess what? It came back a 7. I can't figure it out. I showed everybody. But this is gorgeous. The rock card neutral to white blue. And this one is also numbered out of 999 now not all my submissions for hga were wrestling this is the only non-wrestling in the sub and it is a ricardo pepe who is a soccer player for the men's u.s men's national soccer team and this one is autographed and it got a nine five gym mint i'm very happy 2021 tops chrome 
MLS Pitch Prodigies. It's kind of a peach looking lettering autographed right there. And this is a refractor. It says right there, refractor. And it says the signing of this autograph is authentic. Letting you know, beautiful card, beautiful. And that is it. That is my HGA hybrid grading approach submission. 30 days, which took about 45 days. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked my slaps. You know, please leave a comment. Please make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell button if you want to be notified for any future Murrow World videos. Because I'm even doing live streaming with interviews that should be popping up here and there and every single way. So please, if you want to see one, because sometimes people call me and they're like, Merlin, let's do an interview tomorrow. And I'm like, okay. So if you don't hit that bell icon, you're not going to find out that I've got a video or an interview coming up that night because I really want you to see them. And I love sharing my cards with other content creators who also like unique cards like I do. And I'm usually one of the only people who have like different graded slabs from all over the freaking place. I do it because I because I choose to. I, I just want to do it. I, I like seeing them. And I actually like seeing some of these cards and these slabs. I have no problem with it. You know, I'm not going to like try to flip this overnight. I like showing them off in my display cases. And they're, they're just beautiful. And, you know, if I went to PSA, then I'd be out of like couple thousand dollars with for these so i can't you know afford you know several thousand dollars and that sgc doesn't do like thicker slaps but hga will do thick slaps you know like even thicker like this i had a, a pepe one that was a leaf it was like that thick seriously and i sold that just last month as well for a very good price so i definitely i made like three times the amount i paid for for that pele autograph card and that was an hga card and i've sold many many hga you just have to have a little more patience but they're very beautiful for your pc and if you're not in a rush to sell your cards then i highly suggest hga okay the hope you love my card reveal and i will talk to you later so this is merlin from merrill cards i'll see y'all at the next video bye bye everyone